Hey guys, K Nice Two Me Two here. Going to be doing a review for you today on the NXE tank covers, the brand new ones, and my CP forty eight forty five tank. So to start off with, we're going to be doing the review on the NXE cover. This is the NXE camo, or no, the NXE olive small uh, air tank cover. As we can see here, very nice. Um, the back of it, you can this part, I'll sh which I'll be showing you later, is actually a two piece. This is one piece of the tank cover, and the second lining is the other. Um, this back piece here, right here, can come off. And as you can see here, um, it has the grip on this side, and on the other side it doesn't. It's just got the same fabric like this. Um, the grip on the back is really nice, so it's, you're not slipping on your jersey and stuff. Kind of wish they would have put a little bit more. Um, it just... It holds it there, but it you can come loose whenever you're playing tight and stuff like that. But other than that, um, that is, that's about the only complaint I have on this tank cover is that they don't they don't put quite as much grip here. It's pretty thin, not what I expected, but oh well. Um, otherwise, um, comes quite far up on the feed neck or on the hot the feed neck, the tank where the regulator is. Um, does not cover this section of it, but I've never seen one that does, and to me it's useless. You're not going to be bumping that, your arm is there, and unless you're wearing something really heavy and sharp, you're not going to mess your tank up here. So, to take the tank cover off and on here, um, it's got these two Velcro things that you pull off on both sides. Now, to take off the back section of it, this is also Velcro on the other side, so it pulls off, same as on this side. And here is your back, I guess you could call it kind of your back cap, um, as you can see. Then you can flip it inside out, and this side is just the fabric, not the grip, like on this side. So there's that. Then it's got the tank cover and then this elastic piece back here to hold it firmly in place. Slide this to the side and simply pull this over your fill knuckle and gauge here. Like that. Set this aside. Hope it doesn't roll. Okay. And here is the tank cover itself. Um, it's got the NXE emblem, all that stuff on here. Really nice. Uh, the insides are... Can't really turn it inside. But it has these grip dots on it to hold your tank. There you go. Those grip dots right in there to hold your tank kind of in place. It does slip a little bit. But sometimes that can help if you don't align it quite right with your gun. So yes, this is the NXE uh, paintball tank cover, I guess you could say. Show, put it together, uh, not on the tank. Show you what it looks like. And sorry, I'm kind of getting used to this new camera. Got a new camera for Christmas. Really liking it, so I gotta get used to recording with it. And there you have it. And that is the NXE 2010 or 11 uh, tank covers. And these come in a variety of colors. I mean, blue, red, gray, black. What do you need? They've got them. Okay, so for the next part of our review here, we're going to be reviewing the CP4845 tank. Take the cap off here. Alrighty, so as you can see, it's got the CP uh, tank regulator on it. These alone are $100 if you go to buy them new from a &S Gear or any other of your local stores. Um, as I can see on mine, I my O-ring is chipped here, but this is a used tank. It is not new. I don't like to do reviews on brand new stuff, so I use them to make sure everything's okay. As far as weight, they weigh less than two pounds. I think they're one point nine something. Um, again, there are forty-eight, forty-fives, so they're a little bit bigger than your regular steel tank, and a little bit bigger than your forty-five, forty-fives. Um. As you can see, the it is a stubby. You can consider it a stubby. 
with a CP tank regulator on it. It is the length of the Crossfire 45-45, but it, the way it fits on my gun, the stubby is a lot nicer just for the fact that you're, it is longer here, and with the way my setup is, my hand rests right, I don't know if I can show this here, but right here, and it's not resting up against this, and the way it's set up, the gauge is on the side, so if you're, most guns, if it's, you screw it in, it, the tank, your gauge is going to be right where you can see it, it's going to be, your wrist is going to be on this side if you're right-handed, you can see the gauge, see how much air you've got, really nice that way. Um, as far as the tank goes, I really like it, I've used it several times now, and it's a really nice tank, really light, they have had no problems. The regulator I did have to rebuild, but that was just as simple as taking this lock ring, first taking out your set screws, right here, taking those out, get a, I believe it's a 15 16 uh, wrench, and put it over this lock ring right here, and then wrench that off, and then once it'll come off easy, then it'll start getting hard, keep wrenching on it, and you'll take this whole uh, regulator top out and then your is your tank shims, your o-rings, all that stuff in there. Easy to rebuild and I have to I have to brag on CP they have some of the best customer service there is out there. I mean for this tank I had some stupid questions I called in asked them about wondering why it was leaking out of this certain area which I could have found if I had looked at my manual but I wasn't that smart and they acted like, I mean, they didn't act like I was stupid or anything. I mean, just very nice guy, Randy, over there at CP. I asked him how much it would, I asked him about O-rings. They sent me out some, literally got it the next day. Now, part of that is because we only live three hours away from them, but still got it the next, not the next day. Yeah, the next day, two days turnaround. Was able to get it fixed. I mean, no problems. Gave me the tank O-ring sizes so I could have tried to fix it in town, couldn't find the o-rings and all, but still, I have to say, CP, the, their products are awesome, and you pay for the customer service, their customer sh service is outstanding, so just a shout out to them, really like their products, um, would buy from them any day if I, the prices are a little spendy, but hey, it's worth it to me, so yeah, thanks for watching, this has been my review on the CP 4845 tank, high pressure, and the NXE 2010 uh, tank covers, small. So thank you very much, please subscribe for more videos coming up soon, and have a nice day.